Welcome back everyone to the Renters Warehouse Red Carpet here at the 2013 Twin Cities Film Fest. I'm Doug Sidney along with co-writer of Ghost Light, Mary Kading. Mary, thank you so much for being here tonight. It's a pleasure. Your film is very intriguing in that it is a narrative film that exists in a staged world with theater actors at a theater. Talk about writing a piece that includes both of those elements. You're writing for the screen, but yet you're existing on stage. I think it's a fun opportunity for, um, because we've got a lot of really seasoned stage actors in this, and we've got a lot of people who have got film experience too, and then we've, we've got a little bit of crossover in there too. I'm a stage person who has no film experience, so I'll tell you that for starters. Um, I think it's a great opportunity for people who don't know a lot about what goes on behind the scenes on stage to kind of learn about that and enjoy that. Mm -hmm. And um, I also think it's been a lot of fun for somebody like me who knows nothing about making films to learn about what that's like. And there's a lot of crossover between the two. I agree. Now talk about writing a screenplay for film um, with your background in theater work. Was that a challenge for you? Was this your first endeavor in doing so? Uh, it was my first endeavor in writing anything like this. Yes, I've written some plays and I've done other kinds of writing, but I've never written a screenplay that's been produced. Fortunately, I had the very best in resources in John Gaspard, my co-writer, director, and producer, who has made lots of films and kind of guided me through the process. Um, also, I was very familiar with our set, which is the wonderful mm -hmm. theater in the round. Uh, John wanted to, John was familiar there as a director and an audience member and really fell in love with the facility. The building is a fabulous building with lots of really fun nooks and crannies and we wanted to explore all of those and the movie was a chance to do that. So people who know the theater and have never really been behind the scenes and in all the behind the scenes places will get a chance to see that in the movie as well. Absolutely. Now talk about what I think is really intriguing about your film and you helped write the film. Mm -hmm. First of all, who came up with Ghost Light? Who came up with the story idea? Because you, the, you said that the two of you collaborated, but whose idea initially was it? Um, that's kind of a mystery to me. I think okay. John is giving me credit for coming up with it and I think he already had the idea. I, I will say that every theater has ghosts. Traditionally every theater has ghosts and Theater in the Round is no exception. I think I told him a few of the ghost stories that I had heard and that might have inspired him and pushed him a little bit forward towards doing this. Oh sure, interesting. Now about, about your actual story, you have a core of actors mm -hmm. in a play mm -hmm. that are spending the night at a theater, I don't want to give away too much here, that is, you've also got a crew of mischievous techies and then a third existence of something that may be may exist or may not. No how did spoilers. You, yes. No, no yes. spoilers. How did you how did you split time when you're writing with those three important elements? Was that a challenge for you, or was that was that fun? Did it did it seem to sort of a big challenge in in doing the movie and what we wanted to make sure we could do was use all the resources and the wonderful acting talent we had and also the facility that we had and we had to share everything we had to share people's time these are all busy actors and in-demand people and part of the way we wrote the story was to be able to write it in bits and pieces so that we could actually shoot maybe three or four characters at a time so uh, what I, one of the things I love about watching the film is watching people come and go. Somebody will leave a room and someone else will come in a room, and I know that that scene was shot months apart. But it's pretty seamless when you watch it. Right, and you can get away with things like that in film, which you can't on stage, obviously. So Lovely, that, may have been, yes. that was probably very fun for yes, you. Yes, yes, loved it. Mary, thank you so much for spending time with us. I want to shake your hand again thank for you. being with us. Thank I'm you. very excited to see your film tonight. Are, is Ghostlight making a premiere? here at the Twin Cities Film Fest tonight, or have you screened it already? Um, we had one private screening so far. And so, and you, you were there for that? Yes, You've I was. You've seen how audiences react to your film? Yes, I did. We're excited to see how they react tonight. Wonderful, thank you so much, Doug. My pleasure. Okay. Mary Kading here with us at the 2000 Twin Cities Film Fest on the Renters Warehouse red carpet. We're gonna go enjoy the film. <laughs> 